Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, uh, Boo Boy Candles. Uh, you know, as some of y'all already know, uh, I did upgrade to a uh, SSD. So I figured, I said, you know what? Since I've never done it, I said I, I may as well go ahead and run the uh, benchmark test and see how all my hard drives perform. Now, um, the, uh, the thing that I did do is, because I was switching over to an SSD, is I just did a whole clean install of Windows. I mean, I uninstalled all my games, all my apps, everything. I uninstalled everything. That would be a clean install, and everything is so fresh and so clean. Uh, before, I used to use my Raptor as my main OS drive and my two Cavalier Black. Uh, one was for uh, for all my games like Origin, uh, Ubisoft, uh, you know, like Uplay, um, or just standalone games, StarCraft and all that shit. And then I had another, the uh, the other hard drive I use strictly for Steam because that's where most of my games are all, um, are all from. Now, since I did do it a clean install, the, the two main drives, the uh, SSD and the uh, Velociraptor are both on the uh, Intel controllers, and the other two drives are on the the other controller, because it you know I only have a total of uh, four uh, SATA three ports. Two are by Intel, the other two are by another uh, another you know another chipset controller. So, anyways, let me go ahead and uh, get into it now. These is not the exact serial numbers, but it is the, the exact drive, just not the same serial number. They may be, but I didn't double check it. But just to show you the picture, so that way you know what the picture is, you can see. Now for the um, my uh, Western Digital uh, Black, the uh, 1.5 terabyte, I ran the uh, Atom uh, benchmark and the Crystal Disk mark, and you know that basically ended up maxing out at a. Uh, 145 on the right, 160 on the read, and for the uh, crystal disk mark, the uh, sequentials for the read was 148 and 145 on the right. Now, also uh, keep an eye on these scores, you know, just so you can uh, have a little reference, you know, because it's not even breaking a megabyte. This one's just a little bit over a megabyte and a half. So definitely keep an eye on these scores as well as I show you the other drives and how they perform. But these actually perform very, very well in sequential. Oh, and the other thing I did do as well is since I reinstalled everything, I reformatted all the drives so they're all clean. Like there was really nothing on them. So they're all pretty much pristine. All right, so let me go into the uh, next one here, which is the uh, two terabyte black, which then the, you know, Western Digital Cavalier Black. And again, with that one, you know, pretty close, you know, 143 and 150. And then the sequential read and writes 146, 144. And this was pretty close to what the one terabyte is. And I think the one on the, uh, well, not the one terabyte, the 1 1.5 terabyte. And I believe it said 1.5. 599 was the score for the uh, 1.5 terabyte. Now keep in mind, both these uh, Cavalier Blacks are both the 64 meg cache SATA 3, and they're both running on the uh, 6 gigabyte, uh, you know, setup. So let's go ahead and uh, go over to the uh, Velociraptor. Um, now the Velociraptor itself is a 32 meg cache instead of 64 meg cache so the other two are better cache wise where this one the only the only advantage it has over it is that it's it's a faster rpm instead of 7500 rpm it's a 10,000 rpm which you know i thought was kind of ironic because the scores were actually pretty i think the other ones did actually did better on the auto test this was like 142 149 and then for the sequentials of 145, 142, 
but on the uh, 4K test, this one actually did better. Not so much on the read, but definitely a lot better on the writes. So, like I said, keep keep an eye on these last three. But definitely the top numbers are, you know, pretty much pretty much matched even. Let's see, 145, 142, 146, 144, 148, 145. So the uh, 1.5 was actually what, pretty much better than in all three of them, but not so much in the uh, the other test. But still, nonetheless, great score, you know, great uh, great speeds. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the uh, SSD, which is like I said, the uh, Samsung A40 uh, Pro series, and again, that's also on the. Uh, SATA 3 with using the uh, Intel controller. And then as we can see, the test on that one is substantially higher. Got 510 on the read, 495 on the writes, and the 4K test, well, it just puts the others all to shame. But, you know, that's that's to be expected. It is an SSD. But definitely, you know, the sequentials, you know, that's where... I hope to see a, a big improvement in how things uh, how things run overall on the system. So we can see, because I know um, like uh, Guild Wars 2 and uh, Secret World and a few other RPGs that I play, they're more read-oriented, constantly reading, 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 loading, loading, big-ass stuff. So games like that, they should definitely benefit um, I know it may benefit a little bit, but I'm not going to really notice a difference at all. With like uh, Battlefield 3 or uh, like Call of Duty, especially Call of Duty. I know that ain't going to see a bit of difference. But certain games I will keep on the uh, SSD. And then the other games where I know I'm, it, it doesn't really have to tax the I.O. as much, then I'll keep those on the uh, the other drives like I've been doing. Anyways. This is your boy, uh, Boo Boy Kennels, and as always, keep them scratching. Peace.